No, BuzzFeed's Whitney Jefferson has her own list, and let's just say it's no fun talking about the ones who were really nice to people in 2013. Yes, Whitney, let's run down on the list of who is getting the biggest lump of coal this Christmas. So, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And we just heard about her new album, but let's start with Beyonce, the lip sync saga, the, the course, moment yeah. during the presidential inauguration. Where does that one rank? I would say on the nicer side, but still pretty naughty. Okay. So, if you recall, uh, it was the President Obama's inauguration, and oh, there you got it on the screen. She knocked it out of the park. Wonderful rendition of our national anthem. Turns out she pre recorded it, and it was fake. Mm -hmm. People were not happy about this. We were really attached to it. She had that moment where she ripped out her earpiece, and it was just like it was an so emotion. Dramatic. It was so dramatic. The President was looking on. It was, like, it was just. I felt so patriotic, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then it was a fake. Yeah, <laughs> womp womp. Okay, so that one, she, but she's not, on, she's not one of the naughtier celebrities. No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. I mean, it was a scandal for a while. Right. And then everyone was wondering what's going to happen at the Super Bowl. Will she lip sync for the Super Bowl? She, of course, knocked that out of the park. Right, at the press conference she proved that. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. She's like, any questions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Reese Witherspoon is apparently doing her own talking, and she likes to uh, throw back a few and swear a lot when she's <laughs> being arrested, I guess. At least when she's in Atlanta, it seems. Yeah, back in May, she and her husband, Jim Toss, uh, were apparently, allegedly, weaving in the road. They got pulled over. Uh, while the police were dealing with her husband, Jim, Reese was seen and heard shouting, Don't you know who I am? And this is going to end up on national television. And guess what? It did. Oh, yeah. She it was did. right. <laughs> yep. It absolutely did. Um, it was kind of a long burn on this one. Her mug shot went out, and that kind of went viral. And then, you know, the, you know, Don't you know who I am came around, and right. we're talking about that. And then when the video came out, horrible, horrible, horrible. She wanted Good Morning America to do some damage control didn't really do the best job. She right. said it was poor judgment, you know, and yeah, now she's kind of got that smeared on her beautiful yeah. America's sweetheart reputation. Yeah, but you know what? This was kind of the gift they kept on giving because it was, like you said, in many installments. Yes. You heard about it, then there was, you know, like you said, the part of the video, then there was another part of the video, then you got the audio. So the weird thing is the mayor of Toronto looked at that <laughs> as kind of a case study. How can I milk this? Speaking of bad boys, any list of stars behaving badly would not be complete without this next guy, Justin Bieber. He relieved himself in the middle of a restaurant. Oh. We all saw that. Are we, is it his time almost? Is he going to flame out? You know, I don't know. 2000 year was a horrible year for Justin Bieber. He had the mop bucket peeing incident. Yeah. He's recently been rude to his fans. He allegedly called one just this week a beached whale when mm -hmm. she approached him. Yeah. He, um, when he was on his world tour, he was graffitiing illegally in all these different countries. He was detained. He is just having a horrible year. It kind of stinks because he was so cute just like two years ago. But that's right. the thing. He never really was allowed to mature. And he Acting very immature. Yes, That's absolutely right. Oh, somebody else who acted really immature this year, Alec Baldwin. Oh my gosh, speaking of years, I mean, he's definitely towards the end of the naughty list. He really ranks high up on there. Uh, 2013 was a terrible year for Baldwin. He went had uh, multiple Twitter breakdowns. He attacked multiple photographers. He had a war with the Daily Mail when they suggested that his wife was texting during James Gandolfini's funeral. Right, right, right. He lost his TV show. He lost his TV show because of it. Um, it he just had the worst. Worst year ever PR-wise, but then in his personal life, he got married, and his 17-year-old uh, daughter now has a budding career, and she wrote an essay defending her dad. Yeah. Right. So, and they have a new baby, too. Yeah. New baby. Yeah. Good and bad for him. Yeah. Right, plus it's sort of part of his persona, so in a way, he is the bad boy. That's his he job. He's the bad boy. He's the bad boy, but it, I mean, when you're dropping slurs that are offensive to people, that's when you get your show canceled. And then about right. what you really said and making yeah. up words that yeah. are very implausible. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> This, I don't know, tell me if you think this person is kind of the winner, a dubious distinction. Oh. Paula Dean really had egg and lots of butter, but mostly egg on her face. She looks really pink in this video. She right. does look pink in this video. Oh, right, Paula anyway. Dean, what a year for her. She kind of, her empire kind of came crashing down this year. She, as we know, was sued by an employee, and then the records of this, everything she said in court, her statements came out and pretty much managed to offend everyone. She admitted to using a bad word, the N-word, as we say, right. and uh, dressing up her, possibly dressing up her black employees as servants in mm. plantation weddings. All these horrible things came out. 
She ditched her Today Show apology interview, and then when she did go on, she said that famous phrase, I is what I is. That's and right. And she's like, no, terrible. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave yes, it at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Whitney Jefferson, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and don't forget, you have to be good this holiday yeah, stay season. stay on the nice I list. I will, I will. Thank you. You guys, too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Whitney. Well, we do